we have come thus far by the leadings of the spirit i cannot begin to give you instances of the leadings of the spirit is december now and one of the things i hope to teach you before this year wraps up is the power of retreats most of us do not know how to hear a word from the lord and then to run with it it is risky to just celebrate christmas alone beautiful christmas tree by the way let's appreciate our lovely people and the flowers here hallelujah but if all you are thinking about is just celebrating christmas eating chicken cow and running around going to visit friends family that is wonderful but there must be something within your heart to say lord i need your leadership guide me i am tired of making mistakes in my life for someone god is speaking to you people will not continue to forgive your mistakes forever there are mistakes you are going to make that may cost you your relevance for the rest of your life and god himself is calling on you right now and he's telling you it is time there are levels in life these people are keeping the christmas tree instead of them to focus on what we are discussing we just commented the, the tree it doesn't mean that um, are we together you flog it out with destiny lord i need your leadings i make certain mistakes before i got married you may say but now i have five children i cannot afford that mistake again because while i suffered alone now there are five people there i made certain mistakes we were 10 in ministry but right now is a ministry with branches all over the world i cannot afford that mistake again listen to me stagnation mistakes unnecessary errors can be eroded in your life if you understand the leadings of the spirit the meek will he guide in judgment there are fathers here who need to just go and sit with your family and say let's pray even though i'm the head of this home i confess i do not have all the answers we need to go to the one who is the fountain of wisdom and to hear him speak to us there are leaders who need to retreat and say listen even though we are great leaders we do not have all the answers we need to go back and trust god to speak to us hallelujah when this ministry started and even when god started lifting us i went to the lord and you would notice as a ministry we have never done any conference or any convention it's unconventional i mean a ministry this size globally speaking and yet god gave me a word and said do not my life is a product of the leadings of the spirit when this ministry started that was the time when most ministries would generate their revenue through audio teachings tapes media ministry generally and the lord gave me an instruction and said you will not sell any tape or any teaching but you will put it online and my angel will take it to the nations and with the foolishness of that instruction i obeyed and the rest to him be the glory please listen it listen to me i'm about to pray for you but i sense very strongly in my heart that there are people here that god is speaking to and saying listen you have been ignoring my voice for a long time you are already getting to a point where you are exhausting the boundary of god's mercy it is dangerous to be at the other side of god's voice because the voice of god is where his power follows his power will always go the direction of his voice maybe there are people in ministry right now who need to go back and say lord lead me i'm tired of assumptions you have done 10 businesses none of them succeeded calm down what you need is not more capital what you need is to sit down man of god you may need to sit down family man you may need to sit down what is wrong the bible says proverbs 18 1 
through desire a man having separated himself seeketh and intermeddled with all wisdom it is okay to not know what is wrong but at least calm down for someone god is speaking to you you are rushing too much you are jumping from pillar to post and in your mind you do not believe anything is wrong you just believe that maybe they are just like you need to sit down your life is not going forward there are people who came into this abuja 10 20 years ago respectfully speaking but until now there is no single door at least if one door opens we can say something is happening no you can't be in the middle of that that kind of plethora of 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 failure and then just explain it away no something must be wrong sometimes pain is a signal that your destiny is calling you but not that version of you you need to sit down listen there are family people who need to go and sit down and say why is this home not working son fighting with father they get up in the morning he's boxing husband fighting wife beating themselves no you need to sit down there is something about the leadings of the spirit we're ignoring there are people today you find them exhausted their entire finances is is spent on flight fares europe today america today abuja tomorrow italy next week what are they looking for opportunities the voice of god can save you that kind of pain are we together some of you right now are about to do business with arm robbers because you do not care about the voice of god i don't care perhaps that's why god brought you to church tonight to give you a word of caution that there is a word a way that seemeth right unto a man maybe there are men of god some of you have started fraternizing with wrong groups and wrong relationships they are beginning to introduce you to extra biblical practices in a bid to get more money or to get more fame you are beginning to practice things you know are ungodly perhaps god brought you here tonight to tell you listen you need to settle down He brought us to church. We're about to pray. I want you to listen. This is more than a man of God preaching tonight. The good shepherd is calling you. There are whole families that God is calling. He called your great-grandfather. Your great-grandfather said, ignore me, I'm a, I'm a professional farmer. And he died like that. He called on your grandfather. Your grandfather said, no, I'm a ritualist. I'm a herbalist. I, I, I can do this. He called on your father. For some of you, they ignored. Now he's calling on you. Help them, please. Do not allow your children suffer because of your pride. This is a word that is coming from God to someone. Do not allow your children suffer because of your pride. If you have not got direction, stay with God and humble yourself. Use the keys that I've given to you. He's able to breathe upon the sincerity of your meekness and speak to you. You can call him in prayer and he can speak to you through his word. He can speak to you audibly and directly in your spirit. Hallelujah. He can take advantage of supernatural encounters and speak his will to you. And in the multitude of counsel, the Bible says there is safety. He can speak to you through the voice, the successes and the pain of many. And he can speak to you through the prophetic. Which one have you ignored? Which one of these did you laugh at? Which one of these did you sit at table, castigating and tearing down? Don't mind all these prophets. They are all fake people. And you are in trouble that only the prophetic can bring out. Maybe time to retrace your step, lovingly and respectfully speaking. Some of you have ignored counsel. Nobody talks to you. No, nobody talks to you. I'm a man all by myself. After all, I'm a millionaire. I have money. I have this. Doesn't matter. No. You are going to crash land. That's for sure. And some of you have never taken out time to pray for your destiny. You have turned men and women of God to slaves. Man of God, I just want to sow a little seed. I hope that you will use it and pray for me this night. The covenant of priesthood demands that we pray for all the people under our care. But can I tell you, there are some of you, the, the reason why you are still stagnated 
is because you have not made up your mind to take your next level serious the day you shut yourself bar for three days and you mean it with god like you shut yourself and say i am fasting only to break at night lord i am tired of this situation please give me an answer it was god's servant bishop david Oedipo, who shared his story and said that things were not working for him and they decided to set themselves to pray and it was while he was praying god gave him a few keys and one time they were praying in Kaduna and the Lord asked him to come out and he saw a thick layer of darkness and he rebuked it and it rolled away, printed the publicity material and that was the end of it. My teaching tonight is for people who are tired of not producing results, tired of being stagnated. Are you ready to pray? For the next two minutes, I'm going to leave you with God. I'm not going to give you a prayer request. I want you to cry before the God of heaven. Forget that this is forget any other person who is here let it be just you and god you want to kneel down you want to stand for the next two minutes you and the god of your salvation please cry about specific matters of your life man of god pray pray forget the crowd in koinonia this is you and Jesus Christ. Lord, give me direction for the next season of my life. I am tired of rigmaroling around the corridors of destiny. It is time to make constructive advance. Please pray. Spirit of the living God, lead me. I know I am called, but what is my call? Is it an evangelistic call? Is it a pastoral call? I'm tired of being an apostle today, an evangelist tomorrow, a prophet next tomorrow. What have you called me to do? Pray concerning the matters of your life and destiny. Lord, you are my shepherd. Lead me. You are my shepherd. Lead me. The Lord is my shepherd. I'm tired of failure. I'm tired of stagnation. Someone pray. Lord, you are my shepherd. Guide me. No assumptions. One more minute. Someone is crying. Mama, can you cry for your children? I didn't give birth to children for sorrow. Oh God, guide me. What is their destiny supposed to be like? Politician, pray. Lord, what is the, the blueprint for the next seasons of my life? Lord guide me enough is enough someone is praying lead me I access the voice of God I access the leadership of the good shepherd hallelujah we are still praying hallelujah please listen the next prayer point, you are going to say, Lord, every mistake I have made as a result of not subscribing to your leadership, no matter how long it has been, I cry, turn it to my advantage. Is someone ready to pray that prayer? Lift your voice and pray. Marital mistakes, maybe. Ministerial mistakes, maybe. Financial mistakes, maybe. Career mistakes, maybe. Someone pray. Every mistake, every setback, as a result of ignoring your voice, restore to me, oh God, the joy of salvation. The mistake that cost me my job, the mistake that cost me my wife, the mistake that cost me my husband, the 
mistake that cost me my children the mistake that cost me my the mantle upon my life restore 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 oh god of heaven restore restore parika toshka lika pranda gabaraka poskaliata restore in the name of jesus like the hair of samson restore restore honor restore grace restore dignity restore relationships The covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Now you may cry, but make sure you pray. You may cry. last prayer point father in the name of jesus i go forward i go forward tired of stagnation someone prophesy i go forward in ministry i go forward maritally i go forward financially i go forward career wise every embargo of stagnation i crush it by the mercies of god Every mistake of the past hindering you from rising, hindering you from thriving, it's time to go forward. Shaga bagata palakata praska tebeketosha, embra kata parakatoska tebeleketa. Career mistakes, Lord, I ready to go forward. Ministerial mistakes, ready to go forward. Marital mistakes ready to go forward financial mistakes ready to go forward mistakes as far as your spiritual life is concerned ready to go forward
Sabakata Barakata Bakatos Koto Prokete Embrakata Barasa Braska Balakatos Koprakete Kaparuskiata One more minute and we are done Please pray from your heart Pray from your heart Don't look around One more minute Pray It's time to go forward By the message of the God of Heaven I'm going forward Going forward this one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind, I press onto the mark of the high calling in Christ. a believing amen for in Jesus mighty name we pray amen. the Lord is my thank you for watching this powerful video I believe your soul spirit and body has been mightily blessed revived stirred up geared and set for transformation I would like you to please stay tuned on reflector hub TV and get more blessed I also like you to click on the subscribe button and also strike the notification bell so you could stay in touch and always updated with our daily posts. Remain blessed. God bless you.